National shock and fury over the Morbi deaths. Sheer negligence claims the lives of over 130 people, including 45 little children. The 140-year-old bridge, a popular hangout spot in Morbi, was reopened after renovation just a week ago by a private group named Oreva, which also used to manage the bridge. The company had one year to complete the renovation, but it rushed to complete the work in just five months to meet the rush for Gujarati New Year and Chhat. Shockingly, the hanging bridge was reopened to the public on Gujarati New Year Day without the mandatory fitness certificate by the local municipality, probably to make a quick buck by selling tickets. जो ओरेवा कंपनी है उन्होंने उनको हमने एग्रीमेंट करके दिया है हमारे पास था जब हमने ये बंद करके रखा था जब तक इसका अच्छी तरह से रिनोवेशन नहीं होगा तब तक हमने उसको चालू नहीं किया था दो तीन दिन पहले उन्होंने शुरू किया है नगर पालिका को कुछ भी इंफॉर्मेशन दिया नहीं है कि हम शुरू करने जा रहे हैं The operators who managed the bridge also violated every safety norm. They kept selling tickets priced rupees 17 for adults and 12 rupees for kids even as the crowd swelled. There was no one to check people from climbing the hanging bridge. Tourists were also allowed to shake the bridge. The bridge which normally sees 25 people on it at one go was crowded by hundreds of revelers when it collapsed. Among those, 45 were children, the youngest, a two-year-old toddler who became the victim of the filthy greed of local operators. The Morbi municipal body accuses the operator of keeping it in the dark and reopening the bridge clandestinely. Fitness jo certificate hai, wo dene ka adhikar to aap hi ko hai na? Haan, pa wo agar hume hamar pas jankari nahi hogi to kaise dene? Aapko company ne jankari nahi di? The accused have been booked for culpable homicide by the Gujarat police and multiple arrests are likely after a probe by a five-member special investigation team. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.